This time of year, as winter begins to assert itself, cold fronts can bring dramatic temperature drops. That's certainly what happened last Thursday evening. In fact, I've already told students in my introductory meteorology class to expect a question about that front on their exam tomorrow because it was such a classic case. And here's what will be on the exam. First, a plot of air pressure in State College last week, starting on Monday. Fronts are typically attached to areas of low pressure, so as a front approaches, the pressure decreases. It reaches a minimum when the front goes through and then goes back up. As we say in the business, a front is in a trough of low pressure. Now here's a plot of temperature last week. Fronts are found at the leading edge of the colder air, so as soon as the front went through, late Thursday, the temperature tanked, dropping more than 30 degrees from 70 to 39 in about six hours. Now despite that big change, I couldn't find any record highs or lows in Pennsylvania last Thursday, but that wasn't the case around this time in 1911, when one of the strongest cold fronts on record in the U.S. plowed through the southern plains, leading to a very rare event, sometimes informally called a daily double, and not the Jeopardy kind, but instead the seemingly impossible situation in which a city sets both a daily record high and a daily record low temperature on the same day. Here's the original U.S. Weather Bureau map from 8 a.m. Eastern Time on November 11th, 1911. Although it's nostalgic, it's tough to decipher. We'll set the stage for you. That morning, a cold front was cutting through the plains, a huge temperature different, difference across it. Near 70 on the warm side, while just a few hundred miles to the northwest, temperatures were in the single digits in parts of Colorado and Nebraska. Now ahead of the front, Temperatures hit record highs at many places, including 80 in Springfield, Missouri, and 83 in Oklahoma City. Then the front moved through, a blue norther, as the locals call it. The temperature literally fell 40 degrees in Springfield in about 15 minutes, and by midnight it was 13 there and 17 in Oklahoma City, setting daily record lows in both places. And those record highs and lows still stand 108 years later. Farther to the east, warm air surged into Pennsylvania ahead of that front. Erie reached 71 in the wee hours of November 12th, a daily record high. But behind the front, temperatures fell to 18 by midnight, setting a record daily low. This is the only daily double that I could find on any day of any year among all the major reporting stations in Pennsylvania. Now, besides a powerful front, a daily double can happen in other ways. For example, a sunny day in an unusually dry air mass in a place that's very dry anyway can lead to a large temperature difference from day to night. And that's exactly what happened on July 26th, 1993, when Pueblo, Colorado went from a morning low of 52 to an afternoon high of 101, both records for that date. But overall, daily doubles are very rare. If we restrict ourselves to places that have at least 50 years of data, I'm only aware of about 20 examples of daily doubles in the United States. Stay tuned. Our extended forecast is next.